What's up, tennis fans? I'm Richard Pagliaro, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. Well, the women took the red clay of Rome this week, and what have we learned? Yelena Yankovic spoiling the prospect of an all Williams sister semifinal. She handed Venus her worst beating in her entire professional career. That was 6 love, 6 1. And then today, Yankovic fighting off a match point to send top seeded Serena packing 7 6 in the third. It'll be Yelena Yankovic against Maria Jose Martinez Sanchez, who stopped the inspired run of 58th ranked Anna Ivanovic. Ivanovic, really coming back strong, had beaten two straight top 10 players for the first time in 20 months, then beat Petrova in the quarters before losing today. So what have we learned from this week? Well, Yankovic, make, joining a select group of players, only the eighth woman in history to beat both Williams sisters in the same tournament. Uh, first woman to do it since Kleisters did it en route to the U.S. Open title last year. Yankovic reasserting her status as a French Open contender. The only woman Yankovic probably can't beat on clay is Justine Hennon, and that's because she never has beaten her. Hennon's 10-0 lifetime against Yankovic, including the win in Stuttgart last week. But Yankovic playing really determined defense, covering the court beautifully. If you're Serena Williams, you can't be too dismayed by this loss. Serena, her first tournament in three months, came back strong, looked fit, looked toned, looked really quick to the ball. Usually with Serena, the barometer of her fitness is from the waist down, how quickly she moves her feet. She really did a good job moving. Today in the clutch, she served for the match at 5-4 and again at 6-5, then was up 5-2 in the tiebreaker. Couldn't get it done. On the other hand, Serena can walk away knowing it's clay is not her best surface, yet she still got to the semi here and had a match point probably probably could have and should have won the match. What Serena's got to do if she plays Jankovic again, either in Madrid or in Paris, is she's got to be willing to move forward in the court, take the ball out of the air. She's much more comfortable hitting the swing volley than the conventional volley. She had opportunities to do that today against Jankovic, didn't get it done, and then a huge point at the end of the match where Serena hit the overhead right directly back at Jankovic and paid the price on that one. But still, if you're Serena, you've got to be encouraged the way she played it. The way I look at it right now, Hennen is the clear French Open favorite. I put Serena right there, and Yankovic, again, can beat anybody except Hennen. So next week in Madrid will be very, very interesting. On a, another American note, Sam Query and John Isner last week in Rome got to the final loss to the Bryan brothers. Both have continued that solid play, returning to Belgrade. You remember those two led the United States Davis Cup team in the loss to Serbia earlier this year on the red clay of Belgrade. Isner holding off uh, Richard Gasquet today. He'll play Warinka in Saturday's semis. Query beating Igor Andreev could play the top seed Djokovic in the semis. So good showings from both Isner and Sam Query. Well, that's all for now for Tennis Now. I'm Richard Pagliaro, and we'll speak to you soon.